Hey everybody, it's NickyD97 here, and this is part 12 of my walkthrough on Sonic... Damn! Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, I, I've gotta stop saying that. Okay, in this episode, we are going to um, enter the uh, next galaxy, which is... The Flip Switch Galaxy. So, here we go. Sorry if I don't say a lot in this episode. I've already tried to upload this thing twice, but it's not gone through, so... I hate this thing. Oh well. Uh, this level is called Painting the Planet Yellow. Now this is a very basic galaxy. I mean, look at it. It's just this. You don't like fly anywhere else. It's just pretty much this with the kind of 8-bit uh, Mario background. Now uh, in this ep in this galaxy or in this ep mission, you have to. Um, Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I meant to do that. There we go. We gotta hit all of these uh, blue blocks, turn them yellow, and watch out for this guy, because he'll mess you up. And if you ever get caught in the air spinning for a long time, and you want to get out of it, just ground pound. But uh, yeah, we're almost done already. So all you gotta do is hit these final few blocks, and boom, we're done. No problem. And once the star appears, everything goes away. That spiky thing right here stops moving. The, uh, the bolts of stuff that were right here, they go away. This enemy right here that was bouncing right here, he stops firing out the laser beams. Lasers! So, yeah, that's it. We got the star in less than two minutes. So, yeah, we rule. Alright, that's 10 stars. Double digits, suckers! Yeah! Sorry. Alright. Yes, I will save my game. And in case you're wondering, Nick, what if it doesn't upload again? Why are you saving it? Well, I have a backup file if I need to, and if worse comes to worse, I'll just copy it over. Now, in this, since that went by so quick, we're actually going to do the last mission in the Terrace Dome. Uh, Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor. Now, despite the fact that this galaxy looks like Bowser, we are, not only are we not going to be, uh, go on a planet that's shaped like Bowser's head, but we're not going to be even finding Bowser himself. At least not in this dome. Or in this level. Um, said we're going to be fighting that thing. More on that later. Um, for right now, we are going to, uh, land right here. Boom! Touchdown. Alright, now, to get started, you gotta find the Bullet Bill uh, cannon and have him hit that uh, thing and release the 1-Up Mushroom. Now that's optional if, if you want to. Alright, now, watch out for, or make sure it doesn't hit one of these little thingies right here because that will get you. And boom! Alright, collect the star bits as they're flying by you. And we land right here. And here's Bowser Jr. <laughs> you made it! But I won't even need my dad's help to take care of you! Yeah, because you proved that so effectively back in Mario Sunshine, didn't you? Go ahead, Mega Lake! Stomp him with the power of your Grand Star! Well, thanks for telling us the Grand Star is here. I mean, kind of helped us. Like, now we don't have to search for it anymore, but. Anyway, this is the first bona fide boss of the game. It is Mega Leg. Kind of looks like a shy guy with a nozzle in front of Like a shooter shoot guy or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, as soon as you land on one of the legs, it turns red. Which means bullet bills are about to attack you. Ha! I got two of them to hit each other. That's cool. Alright, so yeah, just watch out for the uh, bullet bills and you should be fine. This isn't the normal, like, three hits and he's gone, like regular Mario bosses are. First, you gotta attract one of these bullet bills. And it will hit that cage. So, now you gotta hit the uh, wall that's right here. Alright. You get one of the bullet bills to follow you. Whoa! Ow. That was not planned. 
Oh, they keep running into each other. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Damn, it didn't work. Whoa, it just blew up that entire uh thing. Oh, you suck! They, they blew each other up right at the gate. This, I'm having more trouble at this one than I've ever had. This is weird. Alright, once it blows up one of them, your job gets a little easier, but at the same time, a little harder. Because now all you gotta do is get it through the gate, but like you just saw, it closes after a while. So you gotta be kind of quick about it. All right, here we go. I think I might have it. Boom! Got it. And without the power of the uh, power star, Mega Leg, it's not Mega anymore. In fact, it's not even a leg anymore. It's boom, boom. Look it up. And with that, we get the second. Grand Star! Alright, that's pretty cool. This is taking us this is taking me longer than my last two tries, but oh well. You got a Grand Star! Yeah, let me just make sure this is plugged in so it doesn't have another debacle like we did last time. And here we go. We throw the power star in there. Oh we didn't really throw it, it kind of shot itself in there. And the orange star turns into a yellow star. Cool. And whenever the second uh, star on the ground lights up, this stone will open! More on that later. And that's our 11th star. Here's the thing I noticed. Power st or grand stars are worth the same as normal stars. I don't get that. It's weird. Oh, well, we discovered a new galaxy. Uh, these two right here. This one and this one. Alright. Now cutscene time. That ball of flame represents the power of our observatory. We call it the beacon. When you recover a grand star, a little star power will be restored and the beacon will grow. The common observatory can use that power to fly through the universe. Once all the power is restored, we will even be able to fly to the center of the universe. <clears throat> oh! The power in a new dome. The power is on in a new dome. The newly opened dome is called the fountain. It's really quite relaxing. By the way, if you looked at the map, it contains information about galaxies as well as domes. If you forget the location of a dome, don't be hesitant to ask me. I don't set up. I don't care. All right, save game. Sure. Why not? Uh, and actually, no, we haven't looked at the map yet because uh, this is the first time it's popped up. So let's take a quick look at it. Would you like to see the map? There you go. Here's here you are. Here's a new one. This is the galaxy that we unlocked from the Luma. There's the terrace, and there's all the rest of the uh, observatory. So uh, before we end this video off, I think I'll show you the uh, new. Wow, blocked me, Luma. I think we'll show you the new uh, dome that we've unlocked. So you go into this little thing right here and all of a sudden you turn into like energy or something. It's weird. And you go in here. This is the fountain. And you go up here and in the next episode we are going to do the first galaxy in this dome which is the Space Junk Galaxy. But more on that in the next video. So, this has been NickyD917 saying thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 13 of my walkthrough on Super Mario Galaxy. I will see you next time.